the life of a city, people seem to always be on the move. To those who take the time, they will see something extraordinary in downtown Omaha. A mural, not just any mural, but a mural about the city of Omaha. The mural, Fertile Ground, captures the spirit of Omaha past, present, and dreams of the future. It was, to say the least, a massive undertaking. The project began with the Peter Kiewit Foundation speaking to the idea of creating a public art project that was going to change the cultural landscape of Omaha. It's a huge directive. It's something equal to saying that we want to do something that's not only going to be timeless, but will be considered in years to come to be this sort of masterpiece stroke that, that a public art project can represent for the sort of life and soul of the city. Located at 13th and Mike Fahey Streets, Fertile Ground utilizes the east and north exterior walls of the Energy Systems Building as its canvas. Fertile Ground is not your average mural. It is large, extremely large. Covering 32,500 square feet, it measures 70 feet tall and stretches for 328 feet. It is, quite simply, the largest public arts project in Omaha's history and the most expansive, singly funded mural in the nation. Beginning in June 2008, many months of hard work led to the mural's dedication on June 24, 2009. Fertile Ground created a buzz in Omaha as people talked about its significance to the community. The mural's creator was world-renowned artist Meg Seligman. My name is Meg Seligman. I am a professional public artist. I am based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and uh, I specialize in large exterior projects. In Philadelphia, I have a studio that is in the South Street area. It's, it's the artsy area of the city. You know, it, it's funny, people say, oh, did you draw or did you paint when you were young? And you know, I don't know that I really did or that I was exposed to it that much. I always thought I wanted to be an actress, so I had a creative side. Um, and then it wasn't till high school till I actually started drawing, and I had one teacher who I loved, who I really bonded with. And I think that one teacher kind of turned me on to um, visual art and drawing and painting. I continued through college and to study art, I got a degree in painting. So I g graduated from college, wasn't sure how I was gonna earn my living. And then I decided, okay, I love to paint. I'm gonna work hard at what I do. And there was a public art program in Philadelphia, which was the then Anti-Graffiti Network. And I wrote the director probably for almost a year and a half. Um, and it just happened at one time that they had a project that they lost an artist for. So I slipped in on that project. And I'm very lucky because uh, when I painted my first mural, I just knew I loved it, that that is what I wanted to do. And I feel that that was a you know, combination of perseverance and luck that I sort of happened into that and was good at it. For some reason, when I paint bigger, I paint better. And that was a, a, a very changing moment. Uh, two of the huge reasons why I do what I do is, one, I truly believe in the power of people working together to create something beautiful. Uh, and I guess this, the second reason is because I love to paint on a large scale. So that is the wonderful thing, one of the wonderful things about this project is the enormous scale. Um, we are debating now whether it is in fact the largest mural in the country, but it's certainly one of the top three. Well, when I first met Meg, I, she's just such an effervescent person, and very, very easy to, to talk to. And I know that from the very beginning, she had quite a reputation as far as being a mural painter and being uh, an outstanding artist. So we, we gave her a lot of trust. Uh, we had the opportunity to look at the uh, design before it was put on the building, but uh, we put a lot of trust in her and, and in her artistic abilities, and just a fabulous result came. 
Seligman is an artist with an admitted passion for painting on a large scale. And everything about fertile ground is large. Some of the resources needed to complete the mural include 871 gallons of paint, 600 brushes, and 320 yards of acrylic fabric. Using quality materials, along with innovative technology, Fertile Ground hopes to last 30 years or more, a significant accomplishment because many outdoor murals begin to deteriorate after just 10 years. The story it depicts is also large in scale, employing 46 characters. Based in Philadelphia, Seligman painted her first mural at the age of 24. She has since gone on to create a number of large-scale murals throughout the country. This is a mural in Philadelphia. It's entitled Common Threads. Here you see me down at the bottom so you get an idea of scale. This was, the design was taken from the high school students across the street juxtaposed with classical figurines and it's supposed to talk about the common ties within all of us. This is on the highway in Philadelphia. It's called Passing Through Philadelphia. Um, it has to do with altered signage. This is a multimedia sculpture downtown. It's called Theater of Life. And um, this has 10,000 marbles, two tons of concrete, uh, glass. It's made at, at, of a whole bunch of different stuff. And it talks about the roles that we all play within our daily lives. This is on Cinder Block. This is right in that theater district. So it's all about the arts in Philadelphia. And when I am making a mural, everything you see in the mural will come from the community and the site where the mural is located. So if, as an example in this one, these are all artists within Philadelphia. Um, the Even the ornament and architecture or sculptures that Philadelphia artists did or instruments that Philadelphia musicians play. So everything is sort of carefully selected. This is in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, and it was painted for the millennium. This before Omaha, it was the largest one I had done. You see us at the top, the very top of the building for an idea scale. This is about the cycles of life. When I first saw Meg's uh, design for the mural, I was actually surprised by two things. First, that I was in it. And secondly, I had looked at some, uh, some of her prior art, and she, at least in her prior art, had a lot of busyness. And so I was kind of surprised that this particular mural was more open and uh, had a lot of open space. And she had indicated that the reason for that is because that's how she found Nebraska, not to be very cluttered, but instead to be something of an open community, uh, not only in the, the physical space, but the attitudes of the people here. Well, for me, the, the exciting element to it was, was the future potential of the mural, was not only its use, but also how, it, how is this giant mural going to be viewed in 10 years? Um, will it continue to grow with the city? Will it continue to capture the imagination of the residents that live here, the community that's represented within the mural? Omaha is very familiar with large public arts projects, but Fertile Ground changed the face of downtown Omaha like no other art display before it. Located just north of I-480, the Energy Systems Building was large and well-maintained, but for the most part, unnoticed. Omaha's front door received a makeover with the completion of Fertile Ground, one of the largest murals in the country, and visible from a variety of locations, it greets visitors with a stunning array of color and beauty as it portrays the spirit of the city.